the open book in Scotland's book town of Wigtown in Dumfries and Galloway, was launched by American Jessica Fox four years ago and is marketed through Airbnb.Paying guests have the chance to live in a flat above the shop and run the bookshop themselves for two week stints, which has proved popular with guests around the world. Ms. Fox was working as a storyteller for space agency NASA in California nine years ago when she had a dream to work in a Scottish bookshop by the sea. She subsequently moved to live above the bookshop owned by Sean Bythel and later acquired another bookshop in the town, which she called The Open Book, and began to rent it out to those looking for a working holiday for £36 a night. She said it sounds like a romantic comedy, but I kept dreaming of working in a bookshop by the sea. I could see it as clear as day, right down to the rain outside. Wigtown is an amazing, unique place. It has a population of only 900, but it has 16 bookshops and they welcome people from around the world with open arms. I thought, I'm sure I'm not the only crazy American out there who'd love to run a bookshop, and that's how the open book was born. People book through Airbnb and we've been overwhelmed by its success. The property's Airbnb listing shows that bar a handful of one-off days, the bookshop has reservations until September 2020. Volunteers help the temporary managers, who are allowed to organize their own events and readings, as well as redesigning window displays, to run the shop. She has recently been contacted by companies in China and South Korea who are formulating plans to create book towns like Wake Town in their home countries and have shown an interest in the open book model. She said they are looking at how a book town works and what they can do in China and South Korea. One guest who stayed earlier this year wrote in a review well worth the wait such a great opportunity to run a bookshop for a week and stay in a fabulous place. Everyone was be friendly and welcoming. We would stay again if it wasn't completely booked for the next three years a laptop and Wi-Fi are provided for guests, as well as bicycles for those looking to explore the local countryside while the shop is quiet. Ms. Fox is to speak at Innovate Literature, part of the Wigtown Book Festival, now Scotland's second biggest literary event, to tell the story of her shop. The festival was first held in Wigtown, which has a population of less than 1,000, in 1999, the year after it was officially recognized as a book town, and following a campaign to secure the designation, which was largely based on the model of Hay and Y, in Wales. Read more three independent Scottish bookstore owners tell their shop story.